Hey guys, it's Matt Pittman, the CEO and pitmaster at Meat Church Barbecue. Well, welcome back to my outdoor kitchen here in Waxahachie, Texas. Today I'm going to make you guys one of my favorite wintertime comfort foods, white chicken chili. <laughs> Well, this recipe has been on meatchurch.com for years and we've emailed it out each of the last two years to our customers and the response from you guys has been overwhelming. People love this recipe and y'all been asking for a video so we thought we'd answer the call. It's actually February, it's supposed to be winter but it's actually really nice out right now which is why my wife's plants are all back here in the kitchen and I'm in a short sleeve shirt. Never fails, you're gonna make some sort of chili or comfort food recipe and it's actually warm, that's Texas weather for you. The first thing you wanna do is you need about three cups of chicken. So what I did was I seasoned a four pound chicken with coarse black pepper and our gospel all purpose rub uh, because I want a smoky barbecue type flavor profile. You could have seasoned with whatever you want. I smoked it on the mill scale offset at 250 degrees until it was 165 degrees internal temperature. So I've let it cool down just a hair and I need to pull about three cups of this chicken. So I'm gonna get into that now. Now you need at least three cups. Um, the measurement, you don't have to be precise on this uh, because you know I want at least three cups, I want it good and meaty. So I'm gonna pull a combination of white meat and dark meat. You guys watch my videos, you know that I'm a fan of the dark meat, I think that's where the flavor is. And I'm also gonna throw the skin in there because it's you know obviously a lot of flavor there with all this uh, all this seasoning. I'll cut all that up. Let's talk about this recipe a little bit while I'm pulling this chicken. Where does this come from? Why do I love it? This is my mother-in-law's recipe, Lynette. It's my wife's mother, and she's been making this for years. Now I know right off the bat, some of you are going to say you can't call this chili because I see beans sitting over there. And if you watch our other two chili recipes on meatchurch.com, we got a Texas chili and we have a brisket chili. We have videos on YouTube and recipes on the website. Well, let me give you a little history lesson on chili and what can't have beans in it traditionally. First off, make recipes your own. I always say that. Do whatever it is that you want to do, okay? But secondly, I'm going heavy on the dark meat. Secondly, Traditional Texas red chili was the chili that didn't have beans in it. That's because cowboys in Texas didn't have that stuff on their chuck wagon. So that's what, if you just want to talk about what really doesn't have beans in it, that's it. I'm not trying to start a controversy. Um, you know, you can put beans in any kind of chili, you know, that you want. So do whatever you want. But here's the real reason that I leave it in this particular recipe. This is my mother-in-law. You don't argue with your mother-in-law. But there's just something nostalgic about this. This is something we've gone over to her house and she's made for us for years. So I'm literally replicating her recipe other than I used our chili seasoning naturally, other than all the same seasonings that she uses. That's the only, only change that I made. So, you know, I think you all know better than to argue with your wife or your mother-in-law. Uh, so that's why we're doing this. And this is gonna be so crazy easy. The longest part of this is gonna be making this chicken. You could have uh, made this chicken on offset. You could have made it in a pellet grill. Um, heck, you could have bought a rotisserie chicken from the store, but that's not fun. So let's get out here and cook something outside together, which will be much more fun and rewarding. And as you know, I like to impart the smoke flavor profile in all things that I do, so I want smoked. I smoke everything from cocktails to sides to barbecue to desserts. Uh, I, I personally love the smoke flavor and things, so that's why I'm going with it. So this is somewhere between three and four cups. I can just tell you that from experience. So that's what I'm doing. All right, now where do we go from here? This is gonna be so crazy easy. I'm gonna get a Dutch oven this is an outdoor gourmet Dutch oven uh, from Academy Sports and Outdoors, really inexpensive. And first, I'm just gonna go ahead and dump that chicken in. I mean to fall, but my dog is underneath me because she knows what goes on out here. Good girl. All right, here we go. You're simply gonna mix all ingredients. 
you need to start out with three cans of Great Northern Beans, not drained. Just dump them all right in. Okay. From there, we're going with a can of Rotel. Rotel is just diced tomatoes and green chilies. Lots of options on Rotel. You could have went with fire roasted, regular. Heck, you could have diced up your own fresh if you wanted, but I'm gonna tell you another thing. Look, I tell people, don't be afraid of some store-bought ingredients sometimes. We don't always have time to be completely chef-y and do everything ground up, so do whatever you like. We're gonna bring in one diced large, you use yellow or white onion, whatever is your preference. I call a white onion the useless onion, but hey, use whatever you want. Even red onion would work. So I'm going with the yellow onion. Um, all right, now let's dump in some cheese. This is 10 ounces of shredded Monterey Jack with peppers in it. This has um, jalapeno and habanero. It's not that hot, but this part of the recipe, you can use literally whatever cheese you prefer. This Monterey Jack works really nicely, uh, so that's what, that's what we go with, but put in whatever you want. Now let's add a little bit of liquid. I go with a carton of chicken broth. Watch this, depending how much chicken you put in, you don't want this to be too runny or too soupy. So kind of play this by ear. The recipe on meatchurch.com calls for a 32 ounce carton. But let's kind of mix it all together and see if we want all 32 ounces. I kind of like that consistency right there. I might add just a little more, just a hair more. So I've used most of that carton, but I've left just a little. It's probably about 28 ounces if I'm guessing. So let's season it. Two teaspoons of cumin. Let's not throw that in. And then two tablespoons of Meat Church Texas chili seasoning. Now you can increase that, which will increase the heat level a little. Um, if you really like things spicy, I always tell people you can put a little cayenne in here, but this is a middle of the road seasoning level, heat level right here. This won't be too hot. Your whole family will be able to eat it. I prepare meals that the whole family, including my kids will eat. So this is not too spicy, but you can adjust those things to your liking as well. Okay, I love that consistency right there where you can see the liquid, but everything is not just buried in the liquid. Uh, I'm gonna give this really good mix. And then I'm gonna go to my offset and I need to get my fire regulated where I'm gonna run about 250 degrees. I'm running a little hot over here right now uh, because I wanna, I'm basically gonna smoke this for three to four hours. Everything in here is cooked. You could eat it right now, but it's like simmering something in your house. Let's simmer it half the day or all day so these flavors really meld together. Um, and you, you could do this in a slow cooker, but again, you know I don't like to do things like that. I wanna cook outside. It's more fun, tastes better. It's a beautiful day outside. I swear your food tastes better when you cook it outside. So I love how that looks. I'm going to um, get my fire down to 250 and then we're gonna get to cooking. All right, I've got my Milskull offset smoker where it needs to be around 250 degrees. I'm running post oak. The wood is not that important. Post oak is just what we do in Texas. I'm gonna stir this thing every 45 minutes or every hour because I wanna change the surface area. Um, that the smoke is hitting right here. So the whole thing is kind of smoky. Again, you need three to four hours or you could simmer it all day. All right, guys, we've been smoking the white chicken chili for right at four hours. The mill scale running like a dream right at 250 like it always does. Let's pull it out. Now we've stirred it four or five times throughout the cook process. Man, it smells awesome. Man, I'm give it a little, another little stir here. Whew, it smells so good. Looks good. People often talk about, why do you call it white chicken chili? It's not that white. Well, the chicken's mostly white, the beans are white, but we put cumin and chili seasoning in it, so that kind of you know changes the color just a little bit for you purists out there. All right, I'm gonna build a bowl here. Let's get this over a little bit. You can see this one's meaty, and that's how I wanted it. I like a good, hearty comfort food, so I wanted lots of chicken. I mentioned this before, you could have adjusted it, 
if you didn't want that much, but I did want that much. Look at that. Bam. All right, let's dress this up a little bit. Can never have too much cheese. So I'm going with some more of that exact, exact same cheese. A lot of times you get something that has a little spice. You know, I like to counteract that uh, with a little bit of cheese and a little bit of sour cream. I love a dollop of sour cream in all my chilies. A little bit of parsley, make it look nice and pretty. Remember, you eat with your eyes first. There we go. And then we're big pepper fans in this house. A little 16 mesh coarse cracked pepper. Optional, do what you want. All right, this looks amazing. We've also taken a fresh baguette uh, that I got at a local bakery uh, this morning and we sliced it up, put butter on it, threw it in a Traeger at 500 degrees for three minutes to, uh, to toast that up. I'm gonna get myself a drink here. You guys know my favorite canned cocktail, Ranch Rider. Nothing left to do but to try it. Smells awesome. I'm gonna get a little bit of everything here. not the winner and like I tell y'all my video man right there always tells me don't take a second bite it takes too long but when you make something that's that good can't help it that's super good I can tell you Mrs. Meat Church is going to be stoked for this tonight now my dinner is already made for the night so I'll probably put this back in to let it stay warm so we can have it for supper but this was super good if you guys like what we're doing please like and subscribe to the channel Team's working hard for you to bring you weekly cooking videos, just trying to inspire you to get outside and to cook. Cheers, y'all.